I spoke with your coach about your role evolving this season. He said simply that you and Chris Bosch are the leaders of this team. How did your mindset shift this offseason as you knew that this roster was changing? Well, it shifted to, to understand that, you know, my role was going to change a little bit. And, um, you know, you kind of get into a comfort zone of kind of where you at, you know, the last four years. And it, it's changed, and it has to change. Um, and I'm excited, you know. So at first it came like, okay, I'm excited about this new challenge, this new opportunity. You know, 12 years in the lead, and, you know, I've won three championships and all these different things. You look for the next challenge, and this is one. This is a big one. Define success for this Heat team this season. I don't, I don't know yet. Um, you know, I think for us is, you know, we want to go out and put a championship effort out there every night and to see what kind of team we can become. And don't, don't limit ourselves mentally, um, you know, with how great we can be. So I don't know what, what success is going to be um, yet for this team, but I'll tell you at the end of the year, if we reach it or not. <laughs> with a lot of veterans on this roster, what will be the keys to that success? Um, I think, you know, first of all, with our veterans, you know, with, you know, adding Luau Dang and adding Josh McRoberts and those guys, it's kind of how fast can we all mold? How fast can we all get into what we need to do? How can we better each other? Um, and then how can we lead the younger guys, you know, that we need to come and, you know, be dynamic players? You know, we got some guys in here that's hungry, that's got a chip on their shoulder, and we need to try to mold that and bring that out to make us all better. Now, we've seen you on the zero-gravity treadmill. How have your workouts evolved as you have, uh, I guess, journeyed into veteranhood? Yes. It's a nice way to put it, right? It is. Very journeyed. I like that. <laughs> um, less pounding as much as possible, especially when you play in, you know, NBA seasons and not much time off, you know, so less pounding. And I think, you know, the great thing about living in this century is that you know, they have zero gravity, you know, kind of things that other other people didn't have before. So just taking advantage of it all and, you know, trying to do everything you can to be your best self, but be smart.